Yo, what is going on, YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, and this is your beautiful sister, Kat, and I am that guy, Reza, your brother, Reza, and um, today's vlog is about shoes, but in particular, white shoes. <laughs> another video and up in this place. obviously a shoe video you guys see the adidas box i'm sure everybody familiar with this blue box mm -hmm. uh so um he keeps breaking his promise and he's getting more shoes this one actually also was happening by accident because we had issues with adidas for eight months nine months yeah, something like this so we keep getting these refunds on uh, gift yeah, cards yeah. and he's trying to spend it and the spring's coming up so he got a pair of new white shoes yes i got a new pair of white shoes because i really couldn't find anything else on the adidas website that i really wanted and all the apparel that i was getting was malfunctioning so i went with some white shoes because it's springtime and i mean you need white shoes so without further ado are y'all ready take a look are you ready yes I okay ready. about to unbox the Adidas. What is this thing What's called? the name of these? I don't know. Lacombe. 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 I don't know. I think it's French. <laughs> now, Lacombe. here we go. The Lacombe. We're gonna take the paper out the bag. Let's see. Don't judge us if we don't say it right. <laughs> Ooh. Now, hold on. We are shoe connoisseurs, not sneakerheads. So if we don't say it right, don't judge. If anybody have a definition of the sneakerhead, please send it to us in comments. I just want to read. What is your definition of a true sneakerhead? I'm a kind of sorry. But here we go. Off comes the wrapping and wow, look at that sneaker right there. Oh my goodness. Man, this thing is heavy. Oh my god. No, I'm just playing. It's actually super, it super, 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 super light. light, you guys. Like very, very light. Yeah, so this is the Adidas Lacombe, I think is the way you say it. And this sneaker, I mean, I'll tell you what, what attracted me to this sneaker. Number one, there was nothing else that I liked on the Adidas website. Number <laughs> two, well, there were a few things I liked, but not really anything that I didn't already have. But um, mostly because of the simplicity and the versatility of an all-white silhouette sneaker. It's one of the most basic designs that every single man should have in their wardrobe, regardless of what age you are or where you are on the planet. A basic white sneaker can really set your outfit off. And there are so many different options of white sneakers to, uh, to purchase. And I've had a lot of the uh, best ones that people typically get, like mm -hmm. the Common Projects yes. and the Gucci's and all that kind of stuff. And I keep coming back to Adidas when it comes to white sneakers. And I think it's for good reason, especially with this sneaker. Like when you look at the quality of the sneaker, the leather, first of all, let's start with the leather. What do you think about this leather? I think the leather is quality is actually very nice. It's very thin. It's very soft. Very soft. Feels really, really, really good to touch. It's very light. It's unlined on the inside, so it's just the actual leather against your foot on yes. the inside of this shoe. And this leather is just so soft and very pliable, nice. and it just feels very, very durable. It feels almost like a really, really nice leather jacket or something like that. And mm -hmm. it's, I mean, I just can't say enough great things about how happy I am with this sneaker and that I actually chose this sneaker. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised. I didn't expect them to be like this. Yeah. I think it's so light because it's supposed to, I guess this sneaker was originally like a, a sneaker that was for like people who kind of live like the yachting lifestyle and Monte Carlo and stuff like that. And um, I can see why because it's a very summery shoe and it's a very lightweight shoe that you could do a lot of walking in and I guarantee you that I'm going to put a ton of miles on this one. Um, this summer when we go on holiday and do stuff like that and just walking around Speaking the street. Speaking of walking, uh, that's one thing I don't... Have you put these on your feet yet? I have not. The reason why I'm saying is because they feel kind of hard. Like I like the way they look and they're soft, but I feel like the inside right here is very hard. I don't know how they're going to be on your feet, but I feel like you might want to put some insoles in to well, yeah, I always it a little my bit more. Yeah, I always tear my insoles out yeah. anyway and put new insoles in them anyway. But uh, I love this sneaker. I'm very, very satisfied with it. The stitching is phenomenal. Like Stitching and the cut because right yeah. here it's a zigzag cut around and it is very nice. Yeah, the, the perforations on the side, the three stripe perforations look good. I mean, everything looks the, actually The actual very nice. leather on top of the tongue that um, is covering up, I guess, the stitching for this the, the size thing. Everything is just looks pretty flawless. There's no loose strings and there's no crazy looking cuts. 
it's a very, very, very good looking sneaker. And I think that, I mean, this is one of those things that I mean, the combination of the white, the uh, off white, and the little hints of black and the gold. I mean, I just think this is just a beautiful sneaker. Which kind of surprised me that he picked a sneaker with the gold. He is not a gold kind of guy. I'm not, but Which I mean. Which is very interesting. But this is actually, the combination does look very nice. Yes. I like this. Yes. It makes it very just nice and light touch of something else yeah it's a beautiful sneaker mm -hmm. and um yeah so this is a great sneaker to start with but there are so many other options that you can have and that you can go with when it comes to uh white summer shoes so where should we start because should i have to start from on. a cheaper side go to the higher side i think we should that's a good idea we should start with the cheapest and then work our way up so without further ado coming from the stage or actually crowd left or stage left <laughs> is the h&m white trainer now this shoe right here now let me tell you when i bought when i got when i got these i actually had a pair of common projects that yeah. look almost exactly like these things these right here i got on sale for 12 or 15 dollars or something like that and y'all out there in sneaker world y'all know how much common projects cost definitely not 12 dollars. definitely not 12 and when i held them side to side obviously the common project was a far superior sneaker as far as finishing and all that kind of stuff but the actual materials were kind of like, I was like, okay, well, this leather is good. The Common Project leather was good. Um, this is leather through and through, inside and out. Um, I replaced the insole. The insole was like the Achilles heel, <laughs> play on words, uh, the, was the Achilles heel of this sneaker. So I replaced it with the El Chico um, Target um, insole. Uh, insole. And I mean, they're super comfortable now. Like, I yeah, really, the, really like these. The actual like leather quality on these is pretty good especially for being a cheap H&M shoe the inside leather is really nice because yeah. he's been wearing these out you guys oh, yeah. he's been rocking this a lot, a lot and this shoe looks really good still yeah I consider these the poor man's common projects um, <laughs> I don't know if H&M still actually makes these they were made in Portugal and they're super super comfy yeah. once you get the insole situation sorted out um, if you can cop a pair of these for $15, oh my god, definitely do it and save yourself, what, how much are common projects, like $550 yeah. now? Yeah, save yourself a whole lot of money and get these. And also, speaking of, like, it is a cheap shoe, but the stitching on this shoe is actually very well, like, very well done as well. Like, it is pretty good. No... There's, like, small things, like, right here where the leather overhangs on the... Yeah, I can see that, but, but you know what I mean? But overall, it's then, awesome. Overall, for a cheap shoe, this is a pretty decent looking this shoe. This is a damn good shoe, and I've worn the heck out of this shoe, and it still looks pretty darn good. So, this is the cheapest in my collection, and because it's the cheapest, I think I wear it the most, when you say? Yeah. Yeah, I rock this thing a lot. But, but these are easy to rock. They fully white shoes, yep. so it's like they go with whatever you want to put on, and this is perfect. Very easy to rock, shoe. look good, very sleek silhouette. They are the poor man's uh, common projects, available at H&M. When you see these out, you definitely should get them and change the insole. So start. So that's that, and then what would be the next most expensive? Uh, so, okay, so going up in price, we're gonna go over here to stage right or our right, whatever it is, <laughs> and we're gonna go with this, the classic Stan, <laughs> the classic Stan Smith. And the Stan Smith is a classic, classic, classic sneaker. I mean, this is about as classic as it gets. But these come with a little bit of a secret. You want to tell what the secret is on these? They are Gore-Tex. Yes, these are Gore-Tex. And these are my, like, go-to vacation sneakers for so many reasons. Number one, because they're white and they match with almost everything that I wear. And number two, because they have Gore-Tex in them. And I've been there before where you're on vacation and the only thing you have is something that's not Gore-Tex. And you get caught in the downpour and you're walking and then now you have your, you know, your feet are wet. we walk a lot, guys. Yeah. When we go on vacation, we walk 10 plus miles a day. Exactly. So we need comfy shoes. And if you have a pair of Gore-Tex shoes that you can rock, and I mean, there you go. Win, win, win. Like I wore these. This all shoe's been. Uh, these shoes been to Spain. Ukraine. To Ukraine, Ibiza, Paris, London. Pretty much all over the world. Yeah, these, these shoes. Since he got them, every time we go on the trip, this is the shoe he takes. Yep. And I think you've had these for a couple of years. Yeah, I've had these maybe, maybe two or three years now, and they have held up very well. I can't say enough great things about this. Also, the Adidas Stan Smith, especially in Gore-Tex, I don't know if they actually make these right now. But if you can find these, I say definitely pull the trigger on these because they are a phenomenal shoe. 
And uh, the price is actually not that bad. I believe I paid maybe 80 or or $100 for these for a Gore-Tex shoe, which is cheap. Win, win, win. This is very cheap, yeah. All right, so how are we going to strategically place these so they're I just in the shot? All here, right. Right for me. There we go. So now ascending in price, we're going to go over to the RAF Simmons. Approaching stage left, RAF Simmons. Now these right here, I these never off white. These are off white. They're a beautiful, beautiful cream color. But I just, I never wear these shoes for some reason. They're not very comfortable to begin with. The leather is, it, this is that, that, that stiff, shiny leather, kind of mm -hmm. like, the, like with the Jordan Couture is yeah, out. Yeah, like that one. And I mean, it bends and it's just kind of like, once it, it bends, creases. it creases. Like you yeah. can see it. It creases like really, really bad. Yeah, you can see it like As you can right see right here. there. Yeah, and then on the front toe box, if she holds that up to yeah, the camera. Yeah, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like right here, it's yeah. just super visible, the crease. But I really love the color of these sneakers, and they actually hold their value pretty halfway decently. Like, So I can still sell these and get a decent amount of money for them, but I just love this color even though I don't rock them. And they sit, and they sit, and they sit, and they sit these in my closet. should be the ones that should have went on that sale table as well. Actually, it should have gone on the sale table. Because there's no point in keeping <laughs> something is going to sit and you don't even wear them. That is true. But they these are beautiful. Are, yeah. I like these a lot. I really like the color. I feel like the color unique. You don't really see these on feet every day. No. You usually see like the white shoe or whatever colors. These are slightly different. So I do like these, but I definitely see how if you're going to start rocking these, this is going to get a lot worse. This creasing. Oh, yeah. And then... There's no way I think you can sell them after. No. Or you can, but it's going to be But different. the quality control of these is really good. The mm -hmm. stitching is on point. Um, it's leather through and through, like a lot of these sneakers are. Yeah. And um, the finishing is almost absolutely perfect on these. Like, every single stitch, even on the tongue, all on, like, on the upper of the shoe. Everything looks really, really good. Yeah, I say, cup. Adidas, as much as issues that we had, like, with returning and buying new stuff and all this and the customer service sucks other than that like the shoes like i can't really complain about their shoes because yeah. i have a few adidas shoes and i rock them all the time and they all look really nice really good mm -hmm. yeah so this is the raf simmons just in my personal opinion this is one that you could probably skip because it's not the most comfortable out of the bunch and um the price point is kind of high and yeah, I don't know, me, I, me personally, I just don't really rock mine like that. So we'll put these strategically about right here. <laughs> and uh, I guess that brings us I to our last know. and uh, most, most expensive. expensive shoe. And uh, I wonder if y'all can guess what that is. We'll give y'all a break to guess real quick. So guess. Comment. Comment. All right, ready? One. Coffee break. Coffee break. Oh, yeah, let's drink some coffee real quick. I'm kind of parched. I need to wake up. It's been a long day, guys. Mm, that is we do too much. We do way too much. In another vlog, we're going to tell you about our crazy days and how we just go from sun up to sun down. No, we go from sun up to sun up almost. True. Yesterday, I went, <laughs> I went to bed at five, almost 5.30 a.m. yesterday, last night. This morning, I should yeah. say. So, yeah. Vlogger's life is tough. That's why vloggers love coffee, I think. I don't really like that much coffee, but I have to. I cannot. How many naps? I took two naps today. They were little. They were like 20, 25 minutes, but I had to because I'm passing out. Yeah. And I'm pointless. See? I'm All a right. miserable person. Coffee honestly. break done? Yes. All right. So, coffee break over. So that will bring us to the last and the final shoe in the collection of white shoes that you should probably try to cop for the summer. Drum roll. <laughs> the Gucci Ace. Now, this shoe right here, let me tell y'all about this. This is a shoe that I wanted for a long, long time, but I was too frugal to buy when they were really, really hot and first came out. And then eventually I got myself a pair, and I've worn them a few times. And I will say this, it is a beautiful shoe. It's a very, very well-crafted shoe. The insoles in this thing aren't very comfortable for me, but I mean, just look at the attention to detail. You see the bottom of this? They have a little Gucci motif on the bottom of yeah. the um, of the insole. The top of the insole is leather. The stitch. Now I have my own personal insoles in here, my little go-to cheap Target insoles because I love them for some reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, the heel cup stitching, all of the upper stitching is just 
phenomenal. This leather is really, really thick. I think this might actually be padded in between the layers of leather on this shoe. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable. I like this shoe a lot. It's funny how everybody have their own length of a stitch. All Adidas is stitches the same size. Mm -hmm. And these are like almost half of the size that Adidas have stitched. But I really like these. Um, I don't know if he didn't wear them that much because he got them kind of in the middle of the winter. So yeah. they're not really like wintery shoe and this is the first spring that he will have them. I hope he'll rock these more. I really like these. I think they're a very nice shoe. I like the colors, obviously. It's a very nice touch. Um, I think that would be pretty easy to rock and you can dress these up and dress these down easily as well. Yeah, I think that they're extremely versatile like most mm -hmm. all white sneakers are. And um, But I don't know with all the current uh, controversy with Gucci, I don't know if I really, really want to be seen rocking these right now <laughs> or if I'm better off just selling them and then like not having any Gucci uh, Yeah, that's uh, big. Uh, but I don't know, like... Big question right now. I think that this is one of those sneakers where... It's a great sneaker. It's a well-crafted sneaker. It's even a comfortable sneaker. I like real But it's so damn expensive. What are you it say? is. No, I like the leather yes. on these sneakers. The leather this on leather is. is very, very nice. This All is, the way. This leather right here is almost like car seat leather. Yes. It's very like, nice. Yeah, like, like Lexus or Mercedes car seat leather. That's what this feels like. It's very, this is very great. Thin. Okay, pick this one up. Oh, wow. You guys, this is different. This shoe is almost three times heavier as this shoe. Yeah, it is. It's because the insole is so damn heavy. It's crazy. But the leather, too. And the leather. The actual yeah. leather, because it's, it's thicker, double gray. thicker. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I think these will be awesome for the summer. And they're not that expensive compared to this. Exactly. This one is a very, very expensive sneaker. So, like I was trying to, I guess, kind of allude to is that you can get this. But I mean, by the time you spend that six hundred dollars, yeah, I like, think you can get these if you can really score them somewhere cheap. Yes. And you happen to be like just came across and it was like one hundred twenty dollars, one hundred fifty dollars. You're like, okay, exactly. deal. Definitely should get them. Even if you're not gonna wear them, you can resell them. Or if you get them on sale at like um, Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus yes. or something like that, like but something like that. I don't I would know if I would drop six hundred dollars. Yeah, but full full retail though, and I and let me uh full disclosure, I did not pay full retail for these. I actually caught these used, so you know I got them for a really good price. It was still a hundred dollars used. It was like a hundred, hundred and twenty five something. Like yeah, used. I think it was like right yeah. under a hundred twenty bucks, somewhere around there. Yeah. Like. But I mean, it's a very high quality sneaker. It's a very comfortable sneaker. But I just feel like, and this is this is the conundrum. What is really the difference? I mean, come on. Is it worth the money? Well, what do y'all think? This is also branding. Some people, I think, like the whole branding idea. You know what I mean? They want to yeah. be recognized. You put this on and nobody's going to be like, okay, yeah, it's a good looking shoe, but some people want that stamp. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I have a brand. I am not one of those people. I like nice things. I do, but I don't have to have a name stamp on it which is majority of time you pay 70% of the price right. just for the name, not the quality. So yeah. as long as my shoe looks good and the rest of my outfit matches and it looks fly, that's all I care about. Now, I'm going to tell you all why, why I have an affinity towards Gucci stuff. And it's not because of the branding. I like design, personally. And yes. I love the contrast when it's the blue, red, blue, or the uh, black, red, black, no, black, green, black. Green. The black, green, black. Uh, no, no, it's green, red, green. 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 <laughs> yeah, green, green, whatever it is. It's been a long day. I, exactly. I like the contrast. I like the design. So when I do buy these really, really overpriced things like the sneaker in my hand right now, I buy them, 90% of my purchase is based on design and mm -hmm. aesthetics of the item, regardless of what brand it is. If it looks good, I'm gonna buy it. And But sometimes when I see something like this that looks good, but it's so ridiculously overpriced. It's not worth it. That's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like you can find a, a very nice alternative to the sh same shoe and still gonna be looking good. Absolutely. So if, um, I had, if push came to shove and I had to choose one of these sneakers, which one would it be? Uh, man, this is a hard decision. It is hard. Well, first of all, these haven't been worn, so it's kind of, you know what I mean? Like, when you wear shoes for a while, you can tell, okay, these comfy, I like these, or... Because I bought a pair of shoes 
Three months ago, I wore them one time. I'm like, I can't wear these. They are not comfortable, and I sold them. Yeah. So even though I thought I'm going to keep them, and I love them the way they look. So I don't know if this... I don't know. Okay, so maybe I can't put that one in, in this whole thing, but if push came to shove and I had to choose one... Well, well I, mean, I already know. Easy. I already know which one. <laughs> this will definitely go. This is going to be the one. <laughs> She's absolutely right. She knows me so well. See? That would be... This is just, it's hard to beat, you guys. This First, thing right here. First, it's a classic shoe. The Gore-Tex, okay, if he can wear, if he can have a Gore-Tex underwear, he would have it. I would. <laughs> so, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind. There, there's no beating this. This is like the SUV of, uh, of sneakers. It's like, it's Gore-Tex, it's comfortable, you can wear anything, you can dress it up, you can dress it down for the most part. These are kind of beat right now, but I mean, it's. You can't beat them. Like, hey, they look French now. They look <laughs> <laughs> Anybody exactly. who's been in France, or if you guys are about to make a trip, I beg of you, please pay attention to what people wear and the condition of the shoe. And I think these people love the Stan Smith so much that they just rock them to the point they probably just fall apart. They oh, yeah. will not give up their shoe for nothing. In fact, we were we were in our local mall in our city one day and I saw this girl wearing some really, really beat Stan Smiths or was she wearing Superstars? She was wearing Stan Smiths or Superstars, one yeah, of them. So. And they were so beat and I instantly said in my head, those people are French. And sure enough, as we got closer to them, they were speaking French. Yeah. <laughs> So, I think they have a really big passion for these Stan yeah. Smiths, so they can't. But you know exactly. what? Like, I have the superstars, and I'm rocking them. They have holes over here in the guys. <laughs> but they're so comfortable, I just cannot give them up. I'm going to wear them till they completely yeah. fall apart until I buy a new pair. And I'm definitely going to buy a new pair. Exactly. So big shout out to all the French people out there that rock these amazing uh, Stan Smiths that kind of like really solidified, like, well, not really solidified my thing, but I mean, after I saw that they were rocking them so mm -hmm. hard, I was just like, oh, pfft, I'm really going to rock these super, super hard now. Um, I guess it's the end of the vlog then. Yeah. This is the winner, and this was probably be, we don't know about this one yet, but. We'll keep you updated on these probably in the, I want to say maybe three months-ish. Yeah. Depends, you know, how the weather goes, so he can tell you how they comfortable or not. Yep. So, until next time, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Later on, um, like, subscribe, comment, uh, ring Thanks the bell. Thank you for the support. As Thank you for always, the support. We appreciate everybody who joined the family, or if you haven't joined yet, please do so. Exactly. KRT Life, KRT Life with the Wide. This is another shoe review. The Adidas Stan Smith is the best all white sneaker money can buy. Laters!